All right, so we just got back from Memory Fireworks, and I actually picked up uh, more things than you guys saw on camera. We uh, just stopped recording, and I went through the store one more time, and I picked up some other things. So we're going to show you what we all got. <clears throat> and this was all retail price, and I'm going to get into that here in a sec. But uh, we got a pack of the Kalem Rockets. We got another pack of Old School. For some reason, these Rockets stand out. Um, they're just, you know, when you see the Rockets with the blue heads, you know they're going to be good. Um, but these ones especially, I don't know, for some reason these just seem a lot louder than the other ones. We got four packs of the Boombox because they have a new generation of these. Um, these are still the old ones. And I wanted to get some more of those before those are gone. Um, and then uh, we got a cone here. I don't ever get cones, but I got this for a specific reason. And you guys will see that in an upcoming video. We've got Tomahawk. And this rocket is kind of different, so we're going to demo that and show you how this works. Um, it actually functions differently than other rockets on the market. I don't know if you can see that down there, but that has kind of a different effect. So we'll show you what that does. And then uh, we have Memory Fireworks Surprise. Uh, this is called Memory Surprise. And if you guys know what Pure Fantasy by Brothers does, this is the same thing. I gotta apologize, I'm out of breath. I just hauled all this stuff up three flights of stairs. So, um, sorry if I'm breathing kind of heavy, but we have Screaming Crackler Rockets. Just decided to pick those up because I see those a lot on YouTube. We got some Buzz Killers. I'm not sure how these are gonna perform. I know the ones from like 2010 and 11 were really good, but I have not tried the new version, so we're gonna give that a shot. We got Frenzy. That's a black cat item. And uh, in here, there's actually tubes. So this is kind of a cake slash Saturn battery. It's a really nice, uh, kind of a cool, different effect. I think it has crackling comets and they kind of go off rapid. Uh, we have Bunny Rabbit, Point Break. Um, now, in the video where I'm shopping, I point this out and I say I'm, I'm not gonna buy it. I actually ended up buying it. The guy cut me a deal on it, so. Here's, here's the deal with these cakes, um, they are extra loud. So we got a Tannerite cake here, you'll see that in an upcoming video. That's a really good one. We got M3, which is their, their signature shell kit. I'm gonna show you what these do. So these, um, these are actually, they have a mine, and then it's the starburst in the shell there. So. These are going to be kind of cool. I've never tried them before, but I know everybody likes them. They kind of sell out of these every year. These are the M3. Decided to pick those up. And then that's one of my favorite cakes, Sedona 2. I do it every year on the 4th uh, with the rest of the fireworks show. Really nice, well-built cake. So you guys will see that. Or you can go back and to the fireworks display video and watch it there too. Um, and then one thing I wanted to touch on. I'm going to try to get a better view of all this stuff. So there's the full view. So what you guys are looking at right now is $300 worth of retail product. And uh, here's, here's my issue with that. So you get one 500 gram, um, actually a pretty nice variety of 200 grams. This one isn't a loaded cake, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, the other four, obviously they are. And then these, so you're looking at $300 worth of retail and, uh, Generally, I only buy wholesale, but I like to support the local business and doing that and spending money there on retail items is the best way to do it, in my opinion, um, because they get the most profit out of doing it that way. And, you know, they do cut me deals here and there, but I just want to explain something. Now, if you were to convert the retail stash here from $300 worth of retail product to wholesale, the, the amounts of fireworks you would be receiving wholesale is just unfathomable compared to this so you're talking for for an example here so this color me purple by big this is a 200 gram cake and at retail value something like this might go for about 20 bucks it's pretty heavy and from my understanding it's a really nice cake so you're thinking like 20 bucks retail not bad okay for a 200 gram in, in most states it's, that wouldn't be a bad price you know for something like this but a case where you would get say like 10 of these, you'd probably get even 12 in a case. These look like they would come like 12. 
um, you could get 12 of these for 60 bucks. So I just want you to think on that for a minute. You know, you, you go and you spend $20 on a retail cake like this. Um, you pay two more payments of that, you know, bring it up to 60 and you're gonna get 12. So it just blows my mind how much it's uh, racked up, but it doesn't really bother me. I, I like to, I like to kind of support the local business, but a lot of you, that might be a determining factor, you know, how much money are you going to spend each year on fireworks, but, and if you're not like me and you don't have a business, that, that could really break your budget and right there, that'd be your whole stash. Um, but yeah, that, that, I just wanted to mention that here at the end of the video and honestly, no disrespect to memory fireworks. I shop, I shop there every year. I'm good friends with a lot of those guys from memory fireworks. Um, every single fireworks store does, does that with the retail. They even fa Phantom's the worst. Um, but pretty much any fireworks store you go to is going to be retail is just through the roof. And that's not a bad thing. You know, everybody's got to make money. So, but I just figured I'd touch on that. So you guys get a better understanding of what you're looking at. You know, this is $300 worth of retail right here. So is it worth it? It's up to you guys, but I, I think it is if you want to support the business, that's that's for sure. Um, another thing in this tote, we've got a case of Excalibur shells. I'm, I'm really not going to get into that. You guys can go back to my leftover fireworks stash video and you will see what's in that crate. If you want to see what's in the tote, you got to go back and watch that video. I'm not even going to get into it. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it right there. All right.